right, you guys. So today we're gonna start pulling this in just with small T. We'll start it at home on the ground because Chevys are good like that. You start them around the ground. Um, this is one of our square bodies, but this thing is damn near mint. I mean, look, the rockers are good. How many times have you all seen a square body where this area here and even the bottom of the doors aren't rusted out? And it's custom super deluxe, but this is a 350 we're gonna pull out of here. I've got some chrome bow curves I'm gonna throw on it for them because, well, these look generic and chrome may not get you home, but damn, it'll look cool for a little bit. So it starts rusting up. So get this thing up in the air, or you start pulling it apart, and uh, get this thing out this truck. And I'll show you guys some other, that truck there, and some other things that, some better, you know, video of these things. This is only damaged this, this cab <laughs> minus the frame. Um, the door, it's still solid. I don't know if I'll use it, but here's the a new hood, a new fender. The bed is damn near mint, minus steel. You know, being used, of course, but as far as rot, this thing's solid. It's got like one area here, which, which actually that was just paint peeling off. That's just, that's just paint peeling off. That needs to be welded up from where you hit something in it. But other than that, she's solid, she's clean. Oh. Clean is not really the word I would use because it is full of nasty stuff and shit. This is good. But again, the rocker is extremely solid. Grab corners appear to be extremely solid. Hood, that's the original hood that's mangled up. But we're going to start pulling it. Alrighty, you guys. So better look this. This bed's even in good shape. Doors aren't. This has, I think, an old 45 in it. Not factory by no means, but. Hell, even this side of the bed's in pretty good shape. I'm thinking about getting this one running and then selling this one. So, yep. This one, the bed's in good shape. For the cab, not so much, but. It is a, it's a super custom, which I'm sure all of them were. But, running and driving, probably, you know, fifteen, twenty five hundred dollar truck. Old International Harvester. All right, you guys, motor mounts are out. That is underneath there doing the cross member drive shafts out so within an hour and this thing we pulled all right you guys one engine pulled out of the white truck here comes the old man load this thing up Baggage and it's all Gucci, don't get too attached to me Everybody act like the answer One love like in the movies, wasting precious time assuming Welcome back, YouTube fam So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video This is on pulling this engine out Tomorrow or next day, we'll get this thing fired up on the ground out here And we'll get it running and dry Or not running, not driving, we'll get it running On camera, might be a short, might be a video, full video I don't know Here's my question for y'all beautiful people to leave in the comment section. So that white cab, that wreck truck is gonna go on another white truck that's at that same place, that's ours. That white truck, both white trucks, there's a second white truck you guys haven't seen. They're both three, one's three quarter ton, that one's half ton. So 
the three quarter ton is going to become a four by four fall guy clone it's the plan for it it's what's going to be in the coming months the green truck is also ours that 1974 gmc i think it is that is three quarter ton as well but my question to y'all is option we got two or three options option a i get it running with the engine and transmission that's in it and i sell it just sell it. Just get all the way. It's got, I think, a 455 Olds in it. Actually, I know it's got a 455 Olds in it. So, thanks that we get that running and driving and sell it to somebody else and they can do this. Now, before we go any further, that's not the original engine. That original engine was a 350 Chevy, but this guy's dad pulled that engine out of the car years ago just to get the green truck running. Um, so, with that being said, we get it running and we can sell it. Or, option two is we can try to find a short bed frame. We could try to find a short bed bed and we could put retransplant that cab and that bed on to, or no, that ca sorry, that cab and doghouse onto another truck and do an LS or my favorite thing, a big block Chevy in it and make a GM product muscle truck. Like we have the Mopar muscle truck outside. We could do something like that. Option trace is we can cut down the long bed frame. We could we could section it, make it shorter, make it into a short bed frame. We can then pull all the five lug setup off of the half ton pickup, the rear end, the front cradle, all that stuff and transplant it onto that frame and make it a muscle truck. Just let me know what you guys think, what you guys would want to watch. Because as it sets, I'm open for anything. I'm open to build that truck into a muscle truck i'm open to you guys don't want to see that I'm option to sell it if you guys want to see me cut on a frame and try to make that that work let me know in the comments as always see you wonderful people next time and don't forget to like comment share subscribe all that shit you guys are wonderful you guys are my fam love every single one of you guys y'all are welcome here and finally finally don't forget this video will be coming to a will it run here soon that truck that you guys see it's all rotted out the dump truck the big truck that is an international of some kind i personally have been trying to get that truck forever i don't think that they really want to get rid of it and plus it's really rough i don't know what i would do with it it's just been cool ever since i've seen it i fell in love with it i don't think it's for selling out his dad probably parked it back there when that thing was probably brand new um so that truck will probably go to the scrapper eventually see you guys next time bye bye don't forget to leave a comment what you guys want to see and uh tell a friend you don't mind about poor man's speech up I don't know. I'm not your dad. I'm not going to tell you what to do. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>